may not have all the right answers, but I sure have all the floor answers. What's good, baby? This your boy, Flint Floss. He F. Floss. Flint Flow Double International. This is Lil Floss, aka Fur Floss. <laughs> Here with another episode of Ask the Floss. You already feel me? So, since the last one, it's been like crazy amount of emails that came in, all types of questions. So you know what, I was like, yo, I got some work to do, you feel me? So, like I said, I'm not no guru or nothing, but I can just tell you, you know, the floor sense, you already feel me. So let's get into the first question. Okay, Drew from New York. Okay, so here's my situation. There's a girl I see on the train every morning on my way to work. She's ridiculously hot. I mean, pretty face and tight body, it's unreal, bro. She seems pretty friendly, but I just can't gather the courage to talk to her. I wouldn't know where to start. I never been experienced in the talking to woman category. I know she's out of my league, but I still feel the need to say something. So I gotta ask the floors, how do I approach it? See Drew, I'm not really a fan of the term out of my league, right? Let me break it down. Why is she out of your league? Huh? Can she fly? Does she have superhuman strength? Can she shoot red beams out of her eyes? I don't think she can, Drew. So why is she out of your league? Cause she's pretty? That don't mean nothing. She's a human being just like you, dog. All right? And that's what you have to remember. When you say she's out of my league, you're already defeating yourself before you approach the situation. That's kind of like reflecting what I was talking about with confidence. You feel me, baby? It reads off. If you're already feeling like, yo, this girl's better than me, then it's going to read off that way. That girl's not better than you because it don't matter how pretty she is. You feel me? You got to approach her like a regular chick. You feel me? You got to just be genuine about it. You know what's my game? My game is I don't have game, baby. I keep it real. If I see a girl I like, I'm like, yo, I like her shoes. I'm like, yo, nice shoes. Or she got a nice tattoo. Or I'm feeling your tats. You feel me? I don't go all in, you know, trying to come up with lines and stuff like that. Because a lot of times women, they sense that. Like this dude is trying to do, you know, pick up lines. And that don't read off well. You feel me? So the key is keeping it real. Just keep it genuine. Next time you see on the train, just be like, yo. How you day been? I see you all the time, like, everything cool with you? Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Because what's gonna happen is, she's gonna get home and be like, hey, I really appreciate that guy for asking me how my day was, or how I was feeling, or just complimenting me on my shoes. You know, he didn't compliment me on my ass like every other guy. Next time she sees you, you feel me? It's gonna spark some interest, and it's gonna generate a conversation. And that's what it is. It's about being genuine and real. It's gonna take you a long way, you feel me, baby? So remember that, and that's false talk. Next question. All right, this is from Mike. He didn't say where he was from, so let's call him Mike. Mr. Floss, a next girlfriend of mine has been hitting me up recently saying that I was the best boyfriend she'd ever had and how I used to do nice things for her that her boyfriend now doesn't do. She's still in a relationship with this new guy, but obviously missing me. Should I try to give her attention and win her back or is this just one that I should walk away from and let the past be the past? Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right, this, this right here, Mike, this is the touch one. Let me get my water, one second. Okay, this really depends on why y'all broke up in the first place. Now, this dude could very well be just a rebound guy, you know, uh, that she could still have feelings for you. You obviously have feelings for her because you're writing this letter. Now, the question is how strong are your feelings? See, what you don't want to be, Mike, you don't want to be a Sam Safety. A Sam safety, the guy who a woman uses for emotional support when she's at her most vulnerable state, mainly because he's convenient and accessible. A woman wants to feel wanted. She wants to feel adored. You know, she wants all that affection, you know. So when the man she currently with ain't showing her that, that's when the Sam safety comes in. You feel me? That's the dude that's showing her all the emotional support that her man now ain't showing her. See, right now he's messing up. You feel me? He ain't on his job. You feel me? So she's hitting you up. Now you gotta ask yourself, if he was doing all those good things that he needed to be doing, would she still be hitting you up? Ha ha. See, that's the kicker right there. You want somebody that wants you because they genuinely want you. Not because somebody else is messing up. Because at the end of the day, you gotta think about it. Her boyfriend indirectly has your heart in his hand. Let me break that down for you. However he acts, however he treats her, affects the way she feels. And the way she feels affects the way she treats you. 
So what if you in there and you like, yo, you like, yo, everything's all gravy. I'm loving her. I still love her again. And he starts acting right. And she disappeared. Your head is going to be all the way up. Now, the flip side, if you don't have any, like, real feeling for her, you feel me? You want it to be straight physical, get all up in them skins. Because right now, it's all access, baby. But other than that, dog, let the past be the past. You don't want to be that dude, man. You don't want to be that dude. Amber from Texas. Greetings, F. Floss. So this month will make four years since I've been with my boyfriend. He's all I've ever loved since my senior year of college. Everything was stellar up until the past year or so. He's become very distant. He's currently unemployed and having a real hard time finding a job in his field. So I've been taking care of the rent and the bulk of the bills, but it still doesn't seem to be enough for him to pay me any mind. I'm really trying to show my support, but I can't help but wonder, is it me? I love him so much and I want it to work. He's a great guy, but I don't want to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't love me. I'm really thinking about calling it quits. What are your thoughts? Ah, uh, okay. All right, first off, Amber, I want to say, I'm sorry that you're going through that, you feel me? Let me tell you a little secret about men. We are raised to be the providers, the protectors, you feel me? So when we get to a point in life where we feel we should be in that position and we're not in that position, we're not able to do that, we feel like a failure. We feel inadequate, you feel me, baby? Right now, he's probably intimidated by your success. He feel he's not good enough for you right now. And that's what it is. He's probably not in a place in life where he feel he should be. So I say, Amber, if you really love this dude, Give him some time to really get himself together because he really loves you. I'm not going to lie. You feel me? I really feel like he loves you. He's just not happy with himself. And if a man's not happy with himself, until he feels like he's in a place where he needs to be, he's not going to be happy with anyone else. You feel me? And that's Floss Talk. So there it is, baby. Another episode of Ask the Floss. You feel me? All y'all with more questions, make sure y'all hit us up on Twitter. Make sure y'all hit our Instagram. You know, whatever. You know, Facebook. Um, you know, email us like y'all been doing. And, you know, I'm gonna try to get to everyone as much as I can, you know. Make sure y'all subscribe because, you know, when I come out with these Ask the Floss, you know, it's gonna come right to you. Feel me, baby? Flossy Fridays, you already feel me. I may not have all the right answers, but I sure have all the Floss answers.